Wicker has run a statewide campaign before, and he has gained experience running for U.S. Senate. By definition, this is his third time to try and convince voters to return him to the seat. Roger Wicker says he has balanced campaigning with actual U.S. Senate work while Congress is in session. I, the, really, the only people that, that ask me about this are the press uh, and maybe some people representing uh, uh, folks on the other side. Part of the reason he says he has no interest in debating other opponents who seek his U.S. Senate seat. I'm very comfortable with the way we're getting our message across, and I think my campaign and my supporters are entitled to do it our way. The attorney and former Air Force officer served in Congress from 1995 to 2007 before being appointed to the U.S. Senate seat vacated by Trent Lott. Speaking to veterans groups about the growth of Internet access, Wicker says he has been a proponent of job growth. I'm part of the team that's given us uh, a lighter regulatory touch to sort of take the burden away from small business people that want to create jobs. The tax cuts, the conservative judges, including Judge Kavanaugh, who was just confirmed. He is a deputy Republican whip in Congress and chaired the U.S. Senatorial Committee during the recent election cycle that drew praise from GOP leaders for the number of lawmakers elected. He says he's running on his record. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to continue doing what, uh, what I've been doing in terms of making sure our military continues to be built up, making sure that we continue to fight disease and making sure that we continue to create jobs in the private sector. Wicker says the choice for voters in the Senate election is if they want to continue. Question for Mississippians on November 6 is, is essentially the same question that voters around the country are going to be asked. Are we going to continue to build on the economic success that we've had this, these last two years in Washington with uh, phenomenal job growth. Wicker's campaign has had to coincide with the session in Washington. He serves on a host of committees, including Armed Forces and Commerce. For Commitment 2018, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.